What up, it's your boy Sean Tulsu, and I just got a jam for a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, turn, uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Slow down, Tom. Bam, bam, boom, bam. All right, we're going to take a look at this crazy game here. <laughs> the Eagles in Chicago. And wait, oh, hey, okay. Uh, all right, let me turn this down. We're going to look at the Eagles in Chicago. And once again, you guys, this is a click through. I don't show much of the videos because of copyright reasons. So you guys can uh, always just go to NFL standings and it will show you the highlights of the game. So please don't get mad at me. If you do, you just got some you know issues you need to work out. Trub Trub Trubisky! Trubisky! <laughs> Trubisky, uh, you know what? Let me say this. I want to give it to uh, Chicago for this year, for making this year exciting for Chicago. Because they haven't been good since Erlacher. I mean, they had an expensive quarterback who wasn't doing any good for them. And, you know, they made a run of things this year. And I'm an old dude, so I remember when Chicago was always a threat. I would, you know, I'm from the Dick Buckus days, okay? That's how old I am, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm from the Dick Buckus days. I'm from the, you know, days when they had Dynamite, one of the best running backs uh, in the world, which was um, Peyton. Um, Dodd, yeah, that was his name. Anyways, he passed on. His son plays. I think his son played for... His son went to uh, Michigan. I think his son went to Michigan. Anyways, so, yeah, Chicago. Big ups to Chicago. Now, I also want to give big ups to Golden Tate. Because Golden Tate went across the middle. And I don't know if your quarterback is upset with you. But what I did know is that when Golden Tate went across the middle, he paid for it. <laughs> okay, let me tell you something. You need to get that man a raise just simply off of him getting hit like that. Now, Aglor, <laughs> Aglor did his thing, but Golden Tate was pretty much the highlight of the game. And, uh, and their quarterback. Who's their quarterback again? Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. <laughs> Um, yeah, but anyways, so the Eagles, I, I didn't even know they were in the playoffs. I'm going to say or in the wild card. I really didn't know. Um, I thought they were out of it, kind of like Pittsburgh. I thought they was out of it by some type of default, but of course I was wrong. And, um, a lot of people think that the Eagles might do something this year because they still have a dynamite quarterback. You know, if he can stay healthy. Um, they still got, you know, Aguilar, Golden Tate. They still got a decent running game. And um, so they're always going to be a, a threat on offense. Their defense is holding it down, making plays. Uh, Chicago's a tough team. Chicago had a had a better record than they did. Chicago's 12-4. and four. Philly is 9-7. and seven. So it was just written in the stones that Chicago would go down, and they did. Chicago lost, <laughs> and and it was a it was a good fight. You know what I'm saying? It was a good. It, it was. It, listen, this is a game I would expect to see. I'm just gonna pick like I would expect to see the Texans or somebody else. Put up a bet, put up a, a a really good fight, and Chicago win. You know what I'm saying? A, a team that's better than Philly, but Philly got in there and slowed down this high-powered offense. They slowed Trubisky down just a little bit, but it was really the it was really the Philadelphia defense uh, that was really doing it, and then the offense just took over because they to me they really didn't slow down Carson Wentz at all. You know what I'm saying? And Carson Wentz was taking a lot of, uh, he was taking a lot of risk because he was firing it right down the middle. 
And uh, then he was using his running game real nice. So I got to give it to the team. They put together, they've scouted the offense and defense of Chicago, and they pretty much said, this is our weaknesses, this is our strengths, and they went in there and they hung with them. They looked like a team that was 12-4 and four this year. You know what I'm saying? They didn't look 9-7. and seven. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. They look like, you know, the Pats or something. Pats are actually 11-4, and four, but nonetheless, you guys know what I'm saying. They look like a team that could take it all. Will they take it all? Eh. No, no. Wins is healthy. If you don't send Golden Tate across the middle again and get his whole uh, life almost taken from him, yeah, they might be able to do something. They got a half decent running game, uh, number twenty eight or something. Somebody like that in the backfield. Uh, he's pretty dope, and um, yeah. So big ups to him for winning the game. Now, I'm going to skip ahead because I'm not going to click through this whole thing. That's just boring. You guys can just go on and look at it yourself. But what I am going to get to is right now to let's see if I can just enter on down here into our private eye. Remember that guy? Wentz. Uh, let me squeeze on down here because it was interesting. They tried to go for two. They scored. And then they tried to go for two, and it didn't work. And it was almost a controversial play because it was like, did it break the plane? And it was just like, no, it didn't. It didn't break. The ball did not break the plane. Here's the ball right here. This is when they were going. They were trying to put it away for good. But you can see the ball, you know, didn't break the plane. And when you do this, you also take a risk of fumbling, and that's basically what happened. The ball ended up fumbling there. So that didn't go over too well. But nonetheless, they were just trying to go for two. So they figured, we'll just take the risk because even if nothing happens, you know, we're still good. You know what I'm saying? So that went down like that. Chicago stayed in it the best they could. But Chicago has one flaw. Chicago has one flaw. You know what it is? The kicker. <laughs> laces out, Dan. <laughs> laces out. <laughs> you don't know what that's referenced to. Two bucks to the person who knows what that's referenced to. Laces out, Dan. Laces out. Two bucks. I got two bucks to somebody who knows what that's referenced to by the end of this week. So by, by next Sunday, if somebody can tell me who that is, only one person because I ain't got a lot of money. The first person that tells me what that's reference to, I, I'll, I'll, I'll sing it two bucks. <laughs> I'll buy you a pack of annihilators. <laughs> but the kicker. Oh. Oh, the beautiful kicker. My man, 50 grand. Oh, good old bang. No good off the upright. <laughs> it was the winning kick. It would have put him ahead by two. He kicks it. It hits the uh, upright. Then it comes down here and it's just like boink, boink, boink. No good. And the look on the coach's face was like, what in the heck? <laughs> what in the life of Brian just happened here? What in the wild, wild world of sports <laughs> did I just witness? You just witnessed your team having to go home for the season because of this. Nope. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> That's what you just witnessed. You witnessed the same thing. I remember uh, the, the freaking Vikings years ago. The, the, the Vikings had, uh, who is it, Matt Barr? And they were dynamite. There were two two Bar brothers. They was dynamite. And he was kicking so good that year. They were like, oh, we got this. Came down to the playoffs, kicked it, and he missed. They got rid of him about a year later. <laughs> it was over. You see him still hugging him like, you know what, bro? Look at the country. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. He's hey, this guy is still there right now in the stadium with the lights off. Nobody's there. <laughs> He's still standing there. <laughs> Kicker is gonna have to come all the way from his locker room or all the way from his uh, wherever he's staying at. They're home, so he's probably at home. <laughs> he's probably getting a call right now. Hey, you know the coach is still standing on the field <laughs> at the 30 yard line. <laughs> he won't go home. <laughs> would you, would you <laughs> can you come in and talk to him? <laughs> Oh, sweet Christmas. Hey, man, God loves you, man, and so do I. I'm out. <laughs>